right, ladies and gentlemen and programmers, we're going to do part two of the car loan. So we're going to continue on from where we left off in part one. So we're going to accept user input. Okay, so we're going to ask the user for input for all of our variables like interest rate and loan amount and down payment. Um, if you never finished our first calculator project, please do that first because basically you have to use what you learn on that one for this. So um, do that one first and then jump back to this. All right. Um, so we're going to, oh no, let's do this. So we will do that, but hold on. Let's, before we do that, let's take a, let's take a little peek here at what this thing is going to do. Okay. So when we execute it now, it's going to say, let's calculate your monthly car payment. I will ask for all the needed info. When I do type them below and hit enter, enter the total cost for the car. By the way, you have to have turn interactive on. So click that button. Um, so the cost, we're going to just use our, the numbers we've been using, 10,000, enter. How many years is the loan? Three years, enter. What is your interest rate? 5%, enter. What is your down payment? $2,000, enter. Okay, and so just to make sure that these things are actually working, so let's change this to, let's change this to 8,000. Well, I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to do the whole thing over again. No, that wouldn't work. Okay. So at any rate, to make sure it's working, I'm not going to make you watch me do it, but we'll get, you have to hit execute again and make sure that it would actually make a change, right? So if I change that to $8,000, this would definitely go down. Okay. So it's taking the user input. So let's go back to the spiel here and see what we have to do. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some of this stuff. Okay, so hold tight here. I'll get you over there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this slide right here. So let's jump back over to our project. Okay, so what we're going to do is write. So here's public. Well, let's just start it right at the top. Let's just do this. Okay, so at the very top, I want you to put, I want you to hit enter. So here's your public, here's the Here's the comment, and here's your class header. Right above that, you're going to put import the scanner here. So that what that's telling you is that right here is where you have to put the code to import the scanner, something like import.util.scanner is going to go right here. Okay, And then here is your calculate loan method. Okay, I want you to put this comment here instantiate an instance of a scanner class and store it in a local variable called scanner. Okay, so then you're going to, after you're done typing in this comment, you're going to figure out the code to put that in. It's going to be like scanner, scanner equals new scanner, something like that. And then here's the code that I showed you in the spiel. So put in this code and then um, put in this comment. Use the scanner to receive and store user input. And then, so it's this is not a, shouldn't be a comment. This is going to say local amount equals, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to remember it. But anyway, rate, figure that out. Okay, so your job is the best that you can by looking back at your first calculator project and asking for help is going to be to make it do like I showed you where it asks for the all the user input and so basically you're going to have to you're going to have to say loan amount equals scanner dot next in you're going to not right here it's going to go that's going to go down it's going to go right here okay and then you're going to have to say something like loan length equals scanner dot next in you're going to have to say interest rate equals scanner dot next in okay so something like that um, Okay, so basically, like right here, it gives you the prompt, enter the total cost of the car, and then you're going to have, that means it's talking about the loan amount, so you're going to say loan amount equals um, scanner.nextint, and then you're going to have to have a line of code after that that says something like, um, enter the, what's next? We need the loan length, so you're going to say something like, How many years is 
uh, low, something like that. And then you're going to have to say, then you're going to have to say loan length equals scanner dot next, something like that. Anyway, so do the best you can. Um, ask for help. Look back at your old projects and see what you can do. And then just to kind of help show you what I did for the questions, um, enter the total cost of the car, how many years is the loan, what is your interest rate, what is your down payment, and so those are the those are the questions you're going to pose before you gather the user input. All right, give it your best shot. Thanks, guys.